Well, North Melbourne will face GWS on Sunday as Reese Shaw looks to make it three from three in charge of the Kangas. North skipper Jack Zebel has been good enough to join us. Jack, thanks so much for your time. How have you found Reese so far and is he getting more comfortable every week? Thanks, Nez. Yeah, Reese has been awesome for us um, since coming into the job in some pretty trying circumstances a few weeks ago. Um, no one can fault his approach uh, and I think the results speak for themselves but the way he's gone about it uh, from day to day throughout the weeks um, you know, he hasn't lost his personality at all and, and I think that's something that he's going to use as his greatest strength as a coach and um, really helps bring all the players together. What specifically has changed? What is the demand that differs from Brad Scott? Um, not a whole lot, to be honest, has changed. Um, some little things that I won't go into too much detail about. <laughs> he's, he's tweaked um, with some game plan stuff, but um, he's just had a really big emphasis on really keeping the playing group nice and tight and, and making sure that, that everyone got through that tough period um, a few weeks ago. And, and from that point on, I think it's, he's just been really um, stressing the fact that we need to play consistently good football. And, and I think the last three weeks has been that. So it's been pretty impressive from sure he'd be able to do what he's done. The club announced the selection panel to pick your next coach today, which includes Glenn Archer. As skipper, how closely do you follow that process? Oh, I'm sure I'll follow it pretty closely, as I'm sure all the other players at North Melbourne will and, and all the other fans and members at North Melbourne will do too. It's, it's a pretty big appointment and um, no doubt they'll, they'll scour the country for the, for the best candidates. Um, and, and we're looking forward to, to getting a really good coach in that's going to help us into the future. Do you have any say as skipper, any involvement at all? Oh, I'm not too sure, to be honest, Nez. I'll have to have a chat with those guys. and I doubt it, though. It's pretty much above my pay grade. I'm just a, a player <laughs> who goes out there and tries to get the job done on the weekend. Early days, I know, and I guess it's a bit of a tough one to answer. But do you think Reese has what it takes? Would you like to see him get the full gig next year? Absolutely. Um, sure, he's... I mean, the first three weeks he's had as a senior coach has been outstanding and, and what he's produced um, and what he's got uh, our players to be able to do and buy into in that short period of time has been has been awesome to watch. So um, the next nine or ten weeks is going to be massive for sure and, and we're excited for him to, to be in charge of us for that period and, and what will be will be after that. But I'm sure Shorey uh, would make a great senior coach, at, uh, whether that's at North or, or somewhere in the future. So you take on the Giants. Who do you think has had more airtime this week? Reese, Heath or their dad, Ray? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure sure he enjoys the, the, the me time, to be honest. So all the stuff that comes with being a senior coach, all the media conferences and that, I'm not sure whether he's too comfortable about it. So you might get the, uh, the straight bat from Shorey this week about his brother and, and, and all the family connections, but um, they're all class acts and uh, it should be a fun day on Sunday. So he gets the win. Well, men who love the media and blokes that avoid it at all costs. Ben Cunnington plays game 200. What do you love about him? Oh, Cunners has, has been one of my most favourite teammates to play with um, over the last 10 years. I mean, the fact that what I love most about him is that no one has, outside of our footy club, has any idea of what kind of person he is. Um, <laughs> you, you look from the outside in, he probably looks like an absolute meathead, uh, the way he plays <laughs> his footy and goes about it. But the way he actually conducts himself around the footy club um, and how much you see him as a family man, um, and he's a gentle, gentle soul. So what you see on the footy field could not be more opposite to what you get at the football club. Um, but oh, I think that just adds to the character of Ben Cunnington. The fact that he, he, he literally runs away from the media, um, <laughs> it's pretty funny to watch. But, I mean, we, we won't uh, mess with his, his, uh, the way he goes about it because the football he's producing this year has been nothing short of amazing. And um, it's been awesome to watch him grow and play um, over a long period. And, and it's an awesome to, achievement to get to 200 games this week. So what's your favourite Cunnington story or moment across the course of being teammates with him? Either on or off the field? Yeah. Yeah, um, I've got a few, but I'll, I'll probably just narrow it down to this one. Um, that Ben, obviously, he's a, he's a family man, so in the off-season, he doesn't travel too far with his wife, Belinda, and he's got two kids now, so they're a pretty tight tight family. So they head back down to, to Princetown, just out of Cobden, about three hours from Melbourne, um, to their farm. Um, and he doesn't generally travel too far to do his off-season training program, so does a bit of training on the farm. Um, and what he, he used to use for weights was a, uh, a metal pole and a couple of tractor tyres, and he used to do that for a bench press um, in his junior days. And then we had him on our podcast uh, yesterday, and he proceeds to tell us that he still does that in his off-season these days, in the last <laughs> few years as well. So um, a bit of old-school training there in his off-season, but it seems to work because he's playing really good football. 
So he'll speak to you on the podcast. That's just not fair at all. Uh, mm -hmm. Sean Higgins has been absolutely brilliant. How big a loss is he up against such a classy outfit in the Giants? Oh, he's a huge loss. He goes being immense for us this year, and 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 in all honesty, he's been huge for us since he came across from the Bulldogs. And uh, we will miss him, no doubt. But I mean, with that, there is an opportunity there for some of our younger guys to stand up. And um, over the last probably four, five, six weeks, a few of those younger guys going through the midfield have been really impressive. Um, I'll talk about guys like Jed Anderson stepped up, um, Jai Simpkin, um, Luke Davis, Uniac. You know, we've got guys and I'm building a bit of depth through there now as well. So um, although we'll miss Sean. No doubt about that. I mean, there's an opportunity there for, for those younger guys to really, really grab it by the scruff of the neck. So three wins in a row, only one win outside the eight. Is finals an aim? Because it would be a remarkable effort given everything that's happened at the club this year. Oh, to be honest, we haven't thought that much that far ahead and I know you'll hate hearing that Nez and every media person and everyone sitting at home probably thinks the same but um, when Shorey took over as coach um, the playing group with Shorey set a bit of a, a, a goal to get to the bye um, we're three games into that or two games into that with one to go and, and our focus is, is really in on Sunday uh, against a quality outfit in GWS um, down in Tassie and, and we'll reassess after the bye and, and really look to the second half of the year. But, but from here, um, after, as you said, ev everything that's gone on at the footy club, we haven't looked too far ahead, to be honest. It's, it's been, um, we've been chasing our tail a little bit over the first half of the year. Jack, thanks so much for your time. Given he won't speak to us, just pass on our well wishes to Ben for us. Would you? Uh, good luck on Sunday. I oh, will. He'll, he'll be wrapped to hear that. Thanks, Naz. <laughs>